Corkamorka's Workshop. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G the Hyper Sapien, and in this video we're going to continue to explore the Orc Miniature range. The Warhammer Commemorative Series have none other than Gorzag, Gitstomper, and Nickit. But I'll give you a little bit of a history on Gorzag, Gitstomper. So Gorzag is based on Gorkamorka's Game Day 1998 knob. So it's basically the same model, reimagined or updated. So the Gorka Morka model was metal, obviously this is nice plastic, easier to work with in my opinion. But also Gorzag was on Gorka Morka, the other book. He was the knob on the front cover and had a couple of boys next to him. He was on the book, the Citadel Miniatures 1998 Annual. So Gorzag's been around for a while, so it's nice that he gets an updated miniature and yeah, he looks awesome. The pose and basically looks like the Games Day 1998 knob. Face is a little bit more updated. His aesthetic fits in with the new Orc range more so than the Gorkamorka days. And now we get on to Nickit. So Nickit has a bit of a history as well. So Dr. Jeff is a comic book artist. So he has a project called Spanners, and that's where Nickit's from. Nickit features in that comic series. It's a Warhammer community comic series that Dr. Jeff draws. So I believe it has three seasons or three issues to the whole series. But I'll leave a description to his Instagram, and I'll leave a description to Warhammer Community's comic series, Spanners. Now back to the review, it's black and has some grey shadow, it has the Warhammer symbol in the background, which is really nice. It has the new Warhammer 40,000 logo, two miniatures. You see Gorzag here, you see a back shot of him. He's got some really nice armour pieces, he's got this glyph pouch, it looks like a gun holster. It has his chopper, we have a boss glyph. It has his shooter, and then you see a little bit of Nickit. He has his big bag of Dacker, but yeah, I really like that Nickit model. Grot seem to be going in a certain way in looks, and the Orcs seem to be as well. They're sort of evolving a little bit, but I really like his face. His face is quite similar to the Gorkamorka artwork. Some of the Orcs on the buggies and the new Beast Snaggers that are coming out, their faces are a certain way. They're okay, but I prefer this look. But as always, let's bust this open. And we'll have a look. So like most of these limited edition miniatures, you get this little black plastic tray with the miniatures inside. But as always, we'll take a look at the instruction manual. So before assembling your miniatures, please read through the instructions in this booklet carefully. At step one, we have piece one and two. So it's basically how you put knobs and whatnot together. You stick his back into his front torso. And then you put his head on, which is the third part. Two, you put on piece four, which is his arm and has a bit of his rib cage there that you put in. Blue is the step that you just did, so it's showing you what it looks like after. The yellow parts are where the glue goes, where the two pieces meet. The third step, you put piece five onto his body. Step four, you put piece six, which is his back, his shoulder pad and his little hat. Step five, you put them on a 32 millimeter base and then that's the completed part really easy step six 25 millimeter base nick its body and nick its head and then put the head on and then put them onto a base and he looks really awesome there then you have a couple of painted images of gorzag git stomper and nick it gorzag git stomper and nick it you get the rules here You get two bases. You get Gorzag's body. Has a couple of bullets hanging off him, like any good knob does. Has a has a tooth there. Has this new sort of annoying head, where it's sort of squared out. It'd be harder to do head swaps and whatnot in the future. It's a bit of a shame, but I do really like this model. I'm not going to change it. But if I had a second one, I might like to modify it because he's a limited edition. I'm going to keep him as is. But you get this really nice loincloth. Now this is missing in a lot of the new orc range. I really like the way this these sort of tassels hang off and it's 
got rivets on it, I really like that look. Also I really like the fur around the boots and the fur around the helmets. To me that's what reminds me of Warhammer Orcs, having this Mongolian looking fur around parts. Has a gut hanging out and he has this vest on, like a sleeveless shirt. Has a bit of a steel cap and he's standing on an ammo crate with all these bullets out. So he's going to keep on shooting until everyone is dead or he runs out of ammo. He have his huge chopper, which looks amazing. I love the way he's yeah. holding it. Basically behind his back, ready to stab it into someone's chest. You get Gorzag's face with the two flaps of his helmet. And again, it's that same sort of look where it's got these tassel parts. Has his ear there with an earring. Looks really good. Now that's Nickit's body, so you get basically the whole grot, which is quite nice. It's really detailed. Has some really nice feet with individual toes and nails. Really detailed. Love the way he's posed. It reminds me of Golden Axe, or those little gnomes, I believe they were. You used to run around with treasure and you have to smack them to get all the treasure out. Now there's a few mould lines down Gorzag here, down his arm. Maybe a bit down Nick here. The details are really good. Not much clean up at all. It's a really faint mould lines where the two pieces meet. I really love Gorzag's back with his holster. Looks really nice the way it's decorated. I like his little skirt piece with the skull. I really like this glyph on the back. It looks really nice. It's bolted on to him. And another thing that makes the conversion a little bit annoying is how his helmet is stuck to the back of him and his shoulder. I mean, you could easily cut around it and use it. You'd obviously risk damaging his back that goes in between his two shoulders, but it is possible with some green stuff. But some people might want to change it. They're just making these miniatures harder to convert in a way. Make its face, which is really awesome. Looks a little bit similar to Makari with the helmet, but... Makari's like a smaller grot, he's a bit bigger grot. He has a really nice facial expression, like grimacing and a bit, almost looks like he's growling a bit, even though Nick it's quite cheeky in the Spanners comic series. I guess that's typical for goblins and grots, the mischievous and cheeky troublemakers, but then they can get vicious if they so want. Nick it gets the old school neck with the hole on the back. So you could probably do a head swap on him if you want. So the back pieces are just where they join together. You see a bit more detail here, a bit of chipping on his gun. Now the orc head is more like the new orcs, has this little square piece where it glues into place, even away from the circle on the neck where you can chop and change orcs really easily. But we'll see if they bring out new orc boys and knobs how they deal with that. Now you can see the back of Gorzag looks really good. I love the damage on this ammo crate. His boots are really detailed. I love this wristband around him, spiked. There's dents and dings in his chopper. Has this, has this little tooth symbol here. Has, has the glyph hanging off the chain. And then if we turn it around, has some really nice detail. This side, less chipping. Really nice detail on his nails here. You can see each individual nail has some nice creasing in his thumb there. Has a bit of a vein going down his arm. This is Gorzag, the Gorkamorka version, the Games Day 1998 knob. So I thought well, I'll bring this out so we can do a bit of a comparison. The heads on orcs used to be a little bit too big really for their body. It was the look that they went for, but they had really big Jay Leno chins. Really long fangs. You barely see his eyes there, but that's just the way the sculpt was back then. It is really nice, but I probably do prefer the proportions of the new oh. one. Spiked shoulder pad, and a couple of teeth. His necklace is placed slightly different. This steel cap is a lot bigger. Now the ammo crate's a bit different. It's got a padlock part there, has all the ammo scattered. Still has his holster. His chopper is a little bit smaller. Strap buckle parts are a little bit different than we looked at before. You get the gun holster, you don't get the skull, you don't get the little pouch. Now he has a wristband around here. You get a different glyph on the gun. 
barrels drilled. You now you get this skull hanging off his gun. We'll bring in the plastic one and we'll look at it. So the bullets uh, look like they're swaying in the wind. He's shooting and it has some motion to it. Even his even his vest here has a bit more motion to it. It looks like it's moving with the model. It gives the model a lot more motion. Now he has only one tooth there. Now the new the new Gorzag has some really beefy arms. They both have spikes. Now he's holding his weapon a little bit different. His back more, so this is more on his sides. The new one has it traveling behind his back a bit more. Compare the face. As you can see, the eyes are a lot more visible. The jaw is really huge on the metal one. Some nice teeth with the gums. They seem to show less gum on the newer orcs. Has the little flaps on the side again. They're both nice, but the plastic looks like it's moving all in one direction. And then his ear has no earring. Now the shoulder piece is quite different. Reinforced a bit more, a bit more damage. Now his gun doesn't have the skull hanging off. Obviously his back's way more detailed as well. It has this glyph on the back. As I said, it doesn't have the skull. Just see the belt on the metal one, where this one is the details a lot more clear and easier to get to. The holster has a fair bit of detail on this one, but I do like the plastic how it has these metal teeth hanging off. And then you get this little chain, which again has a bit of motion to it. Kind of looks like it's flapping a little bit. But I'm really loving this new one. It's just so much detail and it's really crisp and clear. They both have a certain charm to it, but I have to say the new one is really good. Overall, I'd recommend this. Like most Games Workshop, it is a little bit pricey. You do to get two miniatures though. I really love Nick. It has a lot of charm to him, a lot of character. I have came this far. I was thinking of doing a Gorzag, Git Stomper and Nick It showcase of lots of people in the community. So if you like that idea, leave me a comment. If you like this miniature, let me know if you liked Gork and Walker and you knew the history of both of these. From Spanner's comic and from Gork and Walker. So let me know if you'd like to see a showcase and be a part of it. Give everyone a bit more time to paint theirs, even though I'm kind of late to the game. Every man and his dog's pretty much got this. But that's my Warhammer commemorative series, Gorza, Git Stomper and Nick It. Now I'd appreciate it if you'd like and if you haven't already subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Now as always this was G the Hypersapien and I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.